Welcome to the part 11 of the series on volume spread analysis. Effort to move up the smart money pushing up the prices. Before we move further, let's quickly review the signs of strength. The signs of strength are the selling climax, the stopping volume, reverse up thrust bar, effort to move up bar, test for supply, no supply bar and the two bar reversal. Of this we have already covered the selling climax, the stopping volume, the reverse up thrust. So in this section we will be looking in detail the effort to move bar. Earlier we had seen where the signs of strength appear, the various signs of strength appear. So in a V type recovery, Normally, the effort to move bar happens after when the trend starts moving up. This is where the smart money is pushing up the prices. They do it through the effort to move bar. In a recovery after consolidation, normally the, the breakout from the consolidation area is through an effort to move bar. Later, you will find the effort to move bar as the trends move up where the smart money is again pushing up the prices. Now let's look at in detail the sign of strength, the effort to move bar, where the smart money is marking up the prices. First, let's look at the definition of an effort to move bar. It will be a widespread bar. It opens near the low and closes at or near the high. The volume will always be high. Normally happens in a, in a markup phase, breaking out of accumulation and reaccumulation ranges. Now, let's look at the interpretation. This bar is also called an effort to rise bar. It indicates that smart money is pushing up the prices. It also indicates that interest is coming in the stock. It's a very common signal. Normally can be found in breaking out of consolidation ranges, pushing past rejection zones, pushing prices up after some ranging and also top of up moves. The next bar can totally negate the bullishness of this bar. Now when we see an effort to move bar, what do we look for? As usual, always look at the next bar for confirmation. The next bar can totally negate the bullishness portrayed by the effort to move bar. The location of the bar is also important for interpretation. At breakout, it indicates strength. After big up moves, could indicate weakness as there may be selling. In VASA, we should always remember one thing, that strength appears in down bars and weakness in up bars. Also, the amount of volume is an important consideration to look at the strength and weakness. Now, let's look at some real life examples of the effort to move up bar. In the first example, I have the chart of LNT Infotech. This stock has been moving down from the beginning of this year. It has been going down rather steeply from 7,800 levels to, to almost 4,000 levels. Then here we can see some sideways movement. Some accumulation is happening here. So let me draw the accumulation range here. It's 
it's a typical Wyckoffian accumulation range, accumulation range. Now let me, for clarity, let me zoom into it a little more. So the accumulation has been going on here and at this point looks like the smart money is ready to mark up the price or push up the price. As you can see the volume has been quite high here and it's an up bar closing near the top or near the high. The, the next bar is clearly an effort to move bar or an EU bar. Again, you can see the volume is high. It opened near the low, closing near the high. Again, followed by another effort to move bar, EU bar. But here, near the boundary of the accumulation range, it could not move further. It met with some supply. So it again came down and did another test for supply. This is a low volume test which we will be looking in detail later in this series. So a volume, low volume test confirmed that there was no supply and again an effort to move bar pushed the prices above the accumulation zone or accumulation range. So this is a clear breakout happened with an effort to move bar and then the prices started moving up. So this is an example where you find the, the breakouts happening from the range, accumulation range through an effort to move a bar. Now let's go to the next example. In the next example, we are going to look at how the effort to move a bar, or the EU bar here, is used to push past price rejection zones. I have the chart of uh, JSL here. I'm using the replay mode. Our chart starts from the 30th August of 2022. Let's see how the prices play out. The stock has been moving up here. It is in an uptrend here. Again trying to push the price up. Here you can see the stock faced price rejection you can see there are a lot of selling here in this bar here you can see with a long week here a lot of selling came and the prices came down so there was a price rejection here let me draw the rejection zone here so this is our rejection zone here so let's see how the prices are playing out. Prices are coming down. Some sideways move here, some consolidation happening. All the supply is being absorbed and here you can see an effort to move up bar here pushing the price in back into the price rejection zone. Now one more effort to move a bar pushing the price above the price rejection zone. But this uh, effort to move a bar failed here. But there was not too much supply here as you can see the next bar was again on a high volume up bar here. The next again the prices were pushed up by another effort to move bar. 
one more effort to move bar. So these you can see a series of effort to move bars on high volume as you can see the increasing volume pushing the price beyond the price rejection zone. So this is an example where the effort to move bar was used by the smart money to push the prices beyond a rejection zone. In the next example, I have the chart of Berger Paints. Here we can see a typical Wyckoffian accumulation range here after a downtrend. The stock broke out of the accumulation range with an effort to move bar. It was soon followed by another effort to move bar, but the volume was quite high, so it is almost like a buying climax bar but the next bar overcame the weakness of the buying climax type bar with an effort to move bar again here on high volume the stock went up again a little more and here we have another effort to move bar on increased volume but much less compared to the previous bars but the next bar here you can see is a no demand bar. So if it was a really buying happening in this effort to move a bar, then the next bar cannot be a no demand bar. So it is clear that there has been some selling happening in this effort to move a bar. So like we saw before at when the stock trends uh, a lot then you can see some selling happening in the effort to move a bar. Remember we, had, we said the weakness is in up bars and the strength is in down bars. So here is clearly the selling happened in this bar which is, that is why it was followed by a no demand bar and soon we had an effort to move down bar and the stock came down here. In this last example, I have the chart of the Hindustan Aeronautics. As you can see here, we have a typical accumulation range here. And the prices were pushed out of the range using an effort to move a bar. However, there was no follow-up here there was no demand coming in here, so the prices came down a little. Again, it was pushed up by another effort to move bar. So you have a series of effort to move bars pushing the price up. Actually, this is a very good sign of strength. This means the smart money is really interested to push the price and the stock is gathering momentum. So when you see back-to-back -back effort to move up bars, it's a very good uh, sign of strength here. So here again, you can see an effort to move up bar to push the prices up here. And at this juncture, you can see an effort to move up bar on quite a high volume here. But the next bar, you can see, it was a down bar with a narrow spread and the volume dropped a lot. That means there's no follow through here. And the following bars showed the weakness. So it is clear that there was some uh, or a lot of selling happening in this bar. So the retail public getting in and the smart money selling here. So soon the prices uh, came down here as you can see here. And uh, the stock is trying to recover here. In such cases, the high of the effort to move a bar is a very good reference point. We need to cross this high of the effort to move a bar in order to move up further. As you can see here, there are many effort to move bars, but all of them were failing here. There was still a lot of supply present and there was no interest in 
taking the prices higher. Before we wind up this session, let's quickly summarize what we learned in this session. The effort to move up bar or the EU bar indicates that smart money is pushing up the price. The U bars can be found in different locations like breaking out of consolidation ranges, for pushing past the rejection zones, pushing the price up after some ranging, and in top of up moves. When we see back to back effort to move up bars, these are excellent signs of high strength. It's a very frequent signal. The next bar or bars can totally negate the bullishness of the effort to move bar. With this we come to end of this video. In the next part, part 12, we will be looking in detail the low volume test for supply. In order to get notified for the release of the future parts or the videos of this series, do subscribe to this channel. In case you find this video useful, please do press the like button. Thank you very much.